after the second half round, when you finish, you'll turn your work to face the right side of the work and make chain four. One, two, three, four. And again you switch your regular hook to the knit picker. This time we will crochet all bullion stitches into the back loops of the previous round. So be very careful, it's a fine thread and uh, what I would recommend to go on the back and pick up the um, back loop, stretch it for yourself, it will be easier to see and crochet. Probably will be longer, but this is what I would recommend you to do. And make uh, bullion stitches, one bullion stitch into each stitch. Again, the same amount of uh, the same t uh, amount of times you wrap thread around the hook twenty times. So I have two already: three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So I stretched for myself this uh, hook, this uh, stitch. I'm sorry, and we're going into the back loop back loop only pick up thread with the hook and pull it through our stitches adjust the height of your boolean stitch close it and you're ready to crochet next 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 and again I prefer to stretch my stitches. Pick up the back loop and stretch this. Don't worry about it, it will not stay stretched. Insert hook inside, pick up your thread and move it through the boolean stitch. Adjust the height of your hook, a uh, stitch and close it. So this way crochet all the way your half round, third half round, crochet around this area and finish here. Exactly the same way as we finished the first half round. Uh, why we crochet on the back loop? Because when we will decorate this motif right in here, we will use the front loops, the front loops here. They will be very visible when you finish you will crochet and decorate this area with reversed crab stitch. So continue please and crochet boolean stitches around uh, this area. 